hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name's jason and this is your daily relaxation hypnosis session it's um well the idea behind these sessions is that each day is different but at the same time each day grows upon the last day um, even if the session is different from the day before it's still a momentous feeling it's still growing it's still becoming part of your mind and your life these senses of increased comfort relaxation that you feel when you hear my voice and see my face on the video you can just have that connection where you instantly and naturally feel more relaxed and that sensation that trigger can then be extended to not just my voice not just uh, watching the video of me but also the trigger of seeing somebody that may be um, used to be problematic in your life maybe or walking into a situation that used to be difficult for you to handle but now the trigger of that situation is to feel more relaxed to feel calmer so that there's still a trigger but it's a, a healthy one it's a, a healthy reaction to a situation which gives you more options gives you uh, more of a sense of control over your own destiny your own life and how you respond to situations so instead of feeling like you're being controlled from our side which sometimes we can feel like switches it around and you realize that actually you're the one that's in control but at the same time you're a human being with emotions feelings you know you're a sensitive person and it's okay to be affected by those things that occur around us because that's natural you know we're not robots it's natural to be affected in fact it's healthy to be affected and it depends upon how we're affected and what level of being affected that determines how we feel so you can allow yourself to be who you are you can allow yourself to be sensitive and at the same time also have the flexibility of being able to say wait a minute these feelings that I'm getting are not really the same kind of level in response to what's happening so maybe you're getting more discomfort than 
is necessary. That's when the control or the uh, becoming your own guardian comes in. You can observe what's going on and you can maybe say, wait a minute, I've grieved enough. Wait a minute. I've experienced what's going on. I've had these feelings. But maybe I don't need them anymore. Maybe they're not useful anymore. Because that situation has changed. There's a lot of people out there that are walking around or not walking around with anger for something that happened many years ago. It's done. There's no reason to have that anger anymore. It's wasted energy. It's also unhealthy. It could even be harmful. It's like taking daily poison. And it's pointless. It's a part of the process of being able to have more relaxation in your mind and your body is also by eliminating those feelings of anger, hatred, um, inadequacy, those, whatever you want to give the names to those feelings that are harmful to you. They need to go, they need to be let go. So when you let go of um, tension and anxiety and any of that stuff connected to that is all that nasty little horrible hanging hangers ons they hang hang on they hold on to you and they just you know you're dragging them along for years and years and years and they just don't seem to want to let go It's because they've got nowhere else to go. Because the only meaning in their life is that specific thing. So if there's anger in you because of something that somebody said to you five years ago. And you've got that anger towards them. That little bit of anger is clinging on to you. Because that anger, the whole of that anger's world is based around that one incident. And it gets energy and power by reminding you of it. And you feed that anger by thinking about that time and that event. When you let it go, it's no longer connected to you. It can no longer feed off your energy. It can no longer get any power from you. And it just vanishes. It just disappears. But on the flip side, you've got these feelings of relaxation and calmness that are connected to your body and your mind. But they don't drain you. They don't take any of your energy. They give you energy. They give you relaxation. Because it's love. Instead of hate and anger, 
This is love and kindness that fills your body, all the different parts of your body, allowing those parts to relax deeply. And that love is what causes us to feel completely relaxed and calm. Not just in your body, but also in your mind. Allowing you to have a clear mind. Unobstructed by pointless stuff like anger and hatred and all that stuff that just clings on and is of no use. It's just obstructive, destructive. I mean, it's really as, as simple as, you know, if you go shopping, food shopping, and if you don't like peanut butter, you know, peanut butter that you spread on your toast or whatever, if you don't like peanut butter, don't buy it. Don't have it in your house. You never need to see it. As opposed to if you really don't like peanut butter and you buy it, you put it into your cupboard and every time you open your cupboard you see this jar of peanut butter and you get reminded of how much you don't like it. And I'm using peanut butter as an example. I know, I know that millions of people love it. I'm just saying as an example, there's always something that people, we all got different tastes. But why put yourself through that? seeing this thing in the cupboard which makes you feel ill maybe maybe you just have a natural response of Ugh. don't buy it don't put it in the cupboard don't carry it around with you that's why we have toilets not for peanut butter but we have toilets so that we can empty our bodies of the waste and flush and move on with our lives. First of all, if we didn't empty our bodies of the waste, we would die eventually. So that waste has to be removed from our body because it's harmful just like the stuff in our head the waste there although we can't physically remove it as we can with a toilet it's just as harmful it can be anger hatred Can also make us physically ill as well. So in the same way, when you go to the toilet, you flush it away. You don't put it in a bag. You don't put it in your back sack. Back sack. Um, you don't carry it around with you. And then every time you open your bag. You're grossed out because it's full of uh, waste, human waste. It's like, oh, it's just disgusting. It smells. It's horrible. Well, why are you carrying it around then? Let it go. So that's how this works with relaxation. Because even though I'm talking, you can notice how you physically feel. Calmer, and more at ease. Easily and naturally. More able to just experience that sense of accomplishment 
when you can just let go. I mean, when I was just talking, just that second then, just before I started talking again, that gap that I had there after talking about letting go, my mind felt so calm. It still does. There's a real lightness in my mind right now. And although parts of my mind do need to be active because I'm talking but there's still a real sense of calmness a real sense of serenity uh, safety there's a real sense of connection between us, a connection of calmness, physically, emotionally, but also a sense that that relaxation is, that calm energy is moving in the future. Just gently moving forward as we travel forward, but just before us, clearing the way like someone might clear a forest, the pathway for the forest, you know, getting rid of the leaves and clearing that, that path for us to walk. But clearing it with relaxation and eliminating anger and hatred and all those poisonous emotions and feelings limiting us. But instead creating a way carved by love and calmness, deep relaxation. And the walls, as we walk through, the walls are made out of options, numerous options that you can continuously choose whatever you decide to do next. And I wonder what else you could have on that path, as well as safety, the energy of deep relaxation so that every step of that journey into the future, you feel more relaxed and calm, physically and emotionally. And each step is a step of healing. Each step is a step of forgiveness. And you're surrounded by love. love and safety and 
and self-acceptance because the power of really accepting yourself allows you to have more relaxation the power of accepting yourself releases all those tensions and stresses and anxieties from the past and just let them flow away disappearing the power of forgiving yourself allows you to move forward in your life with that constant sense of freedom and safety This really is an amazing place for you to be able to let go and enjoy knowing that you really have made the most of your opportunity to feel completely relaxed calm and serene allowing you to notice all the choices that you have available to you opening up your mind to a whole new world of opportunities filled with love laughter and kindness and this brings us to the end of this session remembering that every time you hear my voice or see my videos you will naturally and easily feel completely relaxed safe and open-minded and you can enjoy the rest of your day feeling wonderful Goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow.